Hi, it's Rachel from Girl Director and welcome to this week's series of Women's Video Revolution, where today I'm talking to, all the way over to the US to Ruth King and her amazing business called Profitability Revolution Paradigm. Amazing name, Ruth, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel, for having me. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I, I, I just, I love the name. I love how we've connected and I love to, to learn more about you and, and how you got started with doing this 24 seven. That's, that's a pretty amazing effort. I, I know. So tell me a bit about your background. How did you get started doing this? Well, I was on the road for 12 years and had to get off the road. And I still wanted to help my clients and actually do things without me having to travel as much. So in 1998, we actually started broadcasting on the internet when it was the bleeding edge rather than the cutting edge. And through the years, through the changes in technology, we finally got to the point where we can actually be broadcasting 24-7, 365. And it's actually kind of fun. It's for all small businesses. And a small business owner has you know, issues and solutions that we provide we give them ideas, strategies, tactics, and other information that matters, just like regular television, except it's on the internet. Wow. And so did you have a television background, or how did you get started in doing this? I actually am a chemical engineer with an MBA in finance. <laughs> what made you go, right, I'm going to make my own TV station? <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> I actually got on camera and loved it. You know, you know, I'm sure you've done the same thing. You got in front of a camera and you loved it. And you knew that you no. were going to be doing this. Well, wow. <laughs> you were behind the camera for a while, weren't you? Yeah. Abs 20 years behind the scenes. So, no, it was completely foreign. So that's why I'm like, wow, chemical engineer to TV broadcaster. That's amazing. Yeah, it's fun. Uh -huh. and, and I think I'm really, I really enjoy talking with people. And all the shows have a lot of interaction with business owners and other people and, and things that can help people. And so that's what we're really about is helping people be more profitable, helping them have better relationships with their employees and their customers and, and helping them live the life of freedom that they really want to be living. So tell me what, um, you know, what, how long did it take you to develop your channel to where it, where it was to where it is today? You know, how long did that process take? Well, we started in 1998 and then in 2002, we actually created the first real channel and it was for heating and air contractors, i.e. my background in engineering. And it was a very small niche market and we could make all the mistakes in there because nobody was paying attention to us other than contractors. <laughs> And so what wow. happened then is that we, we built the technologies up, we built the ability to stream up, and we built the content up just for heating and air contractors. Then about 2012, we started saying, okay, who else is out there? And small business, I mean, we're all small business owners. And we started putting together the data and putting together the testing to see whether we can broadcast and build an audience for small business owners. And as a result of the test that we did in 2012, 2013, and 2014, on November 4th of 2014, just about a year ago, we started broadcasting 24-7, 365. But it took about three years to get everything together. Oh, wow. And you've got a big crew, have you? Or you've got a small studio? What kind of studio setup do you have? We have probably about 2,000 square feet in this studio, and we have a smaller studio that we also can use. And all the techie things that I don't know anything about, I rely on my <laughs> technical crew to handle all of those things in my production crew. So we, have, we broadcast in high D, um, uh -huh. so it looks good. And yeah. As the technology changes, we'll probably be going to 4K and whatever's after 4K. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, where do you, you know, if you could give some advice for somebody wanting to start their own channel of streaming like you have, you know, what would be three things that you'd recommend for them to do? Well, number one and the most critical thing is content that your target audience wants. You want people to have a reason to watch you. You want people to have a reason to, to tune into you, so to speak. And that's the most important thing. So if you have a very, I would suggest starting like we did with a niche audience that you are very comfortable with and, and people know you and are willing to either get information from you or buy from you or something you know, along those lines. So number one is content. Number two is practice, 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 practice. I, uh -huh. I can't stress that enough. I mean, I've got now probably over 10,000 hours in front of a, in front of a camera 
and in the beginning, I was <laughs> awful. I was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, you got to start somewhere, though, you yeah, know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and it's and not about being perfect either, is it? <laughs> no, I mean, I make mistakes all the time, and it's actually the mistakes are fun and the outtakes are <laughs> a lot of fun. But the yeah. thing that will get you in the beginning is people are willing to put up with a lot of imperfection as long as the content is really, really good. So content yeah. is king. Then making sure that you do a lot of practice is, it would be the second thing. And the third thing was figure out how you're going to market it because you could have the greatest content in the world, but if you're not doing any marketing and letting the world know that it's out there and why they should be watching, you will die. <laughs> and yeah, absolutely. So what kind of traffic or what kind of marketing do you do for your channel? Well, we do many different things. We do a lot of internet marketing in terms of I write a weekly newsletter um, for contractors called Contractor Sense and for small business called Profitable Business. And this goes out to um, over 5,000 people every single week. It's five minutes of reading, very, very quick, things like that. And we talk about the shows that are there and we give them a schedule of, of what's coming up. We also, all of our guests and all of our hosts also have great email lists. So, I mean, it goes out that way also. We have a, a social that media, helps. yeah, <laughs> definitely. We have a social media presence. We are, we are speaking all over the place. Um, and I'm finding people like you, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so how do you have a certain amount of recording days and you've got some live content, you've got some stream content, like how do you record your content so much of it or how do you find, you know, content for 24 seven? That's a lot of content. Yeah, right now we're actually repeating programs. That, so we have like a three hour block of content which we repeat eight times during a day. Like today's programs will be different than tomorrow's programs, which will be different, et cetera, et cetera. But there's just a three hour block of quote unquote new programming. And a lot of it is like on television is pre-recorded. And occasionally we will do some live programs if somebody you know, is coming through Atlanta, so to speak, and they just happen to be in the studio at the perfect time, we'll record a live program so, so that the awesome. people can see that. If we are doing <laughs> programs where we are actually doing interactive questions where people can call in or chat in, those programs are also live. And those are the special yeah. events that we do. And we let everybody know that, about those in advance too. Wow. And so tell me, what, what do your clients get from watching you? Like, what, what are the benefits of signing up to, to your channel? Well, number one, our goal in life, because of, you know, obviously our name is Profitability, is to help every small business owner get and stay profitable. And profitability is not only financial profitability. It is making sure your sales are profitable, making sure your marketing is profitable, making sure your people are productive, making sure your relationships are, are good so that you can be more profitable there. And so it's operation, sales, marketing, HR, and I'm leaving a whole lot of things out. <laughs> Yeah, so, wow. So they subscribe and, and what are the, some of the feedback that you get from people watching your channel? It's, it's been really interesting. It's like, wow, I didn't know you could get all this information in one place. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. we have a library now of over 300 programs targeted strictly for small businesses. So the people uh -huh. who actually become gold members get access to all of those programs that are in the library. So if they're, you know, like most small business owners, as you know, um, you're awake at three o'clock in the morning, like trying to solve this problem. <laughs> and I don't know what to do, what to do. So you can actually click on it, you know, three o'clock in the morning, go through the library or watch what's, you know, on TV at that point and say, okay, I have a problem with respect to handling this HR issue. You can put in and scroll through, you put in keywords, find the programs that you need, get an answer and go back to sleep. Absolutely. I, I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we all can. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, who, who, how old are I was, <laughs> was just going to say, what, you know, have you had some people in your studio that you've been really nervous about interviewing or who are some of the three biggest people that you've had on your show that you've kind of been like a bit tongue-tied like I was just then? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't get tongue-tied very often anymore. It's really, been, it's really interesting because you, you'd never know that I get nervous about things but I do occasionally actually one of the greatest people I've ever interviewed That's Morrison, in by the way okay hi Morrison <laughs> <laughs> one of the greatest people I've interviewed is actually an Australian by the name of Brad Sugars who you may or may not know but he started yes. at zero and, and grew into billionaire he started action coach he, st he bought and sold a lot of other businesses and he told me something like in 1990 whatever else it is is to work once and get paid forever and I've never ever <laughs> forgotten that 
And it, it really is true. You, you build um, recurring revenue and you build things that, that help small businesses and they'll come back time and time and time and time again. So those things are really important. So he, you know, he's an Australian that everybody in Australia might actually have recognized or, or go, and he's written books, the instant, whatever, the instant the marketing. Or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember specifically yeah. what they are. I do still have all of the books that, that he gave me as, as part of the interview. So he was really good. Um, and an American that you may not know, if, if, you, if you, anybody get into American football, i.e. not soccer, but American football, <laughs> is a, a gentleman by the name of Fran Tarkenton who is in the NFL Hall of Fame and he's turned entrepreneur. And it's been a very interesting thing to actually watch him succeed over the years, not as a football jock anymore, but as a contributor to the small business entrepreneurial <laughs> spirit. Um, so yeah. those are two that come to mind. Lee Ellis is, um, was a um, prisoner of war in Vietnam with John McCain in the Hanoi Hilton. And he, he was on our show and he, he has a book on leadership that's really phenomenal. And it was fun to interview him. I've interviewed Mark Victor Hansen, who you may or may not know, but he's done a lot of different <laughs> things. Actually in Australia too. I mean, he's done, he and Robert Allen wrote the One Minute Millionaire or okay. Break the Millionaire yep. Code or something along those lines. And he would Write probably- Write suggestions. I'm gonna write those down yeah, afterwards. <laughs> yeah, so those are some of the more famous ones. But the really cool part is interviewing small business owners who have done some really phenomenal things who haven't gotten the PR, but who've yeah. done really great things that other small business owners can learn from. I think that sometimes as you get bigger and more famous and things like that, there's just, you, you only do a piece of things. And a lot of times, small business owners aren't, you know, don't get phenomenally successful and phenomenally big, and, and, but they still make incredible contributions to society and mankind and to people, and their stories are just fascinating. And we can learn from them just as well as we can learn from the big guys. And that's a bit like the revolution. That's really yeah. what it stands for, is being a stand for small business, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so where do you see the future? I mean, you know, quickly, just what what um, uh, what opportunities have opened up for you doing video? I have met some incredible people who I've learned a lot from simply because I've been interviewing them, things that they've done right in their business, things that have happened that were, were screw up, so to speak, um, things that they wish they hadn't done, which I, you know, I learned from the mistakes of others. One thing my grandfather always said to me was there were three types of business people. One makes mistakes and just repeats them and doesn't learn from them, so he just does them over and over. Second type of business person actually makes mistakes, learns from them, don't, doesn't do them again. Third person. <laughs> Exactly. actually learns from the mistakes of others so they don't make them to begin with. And I think I have been very fortunate in the number of people I've interviewed over the years to, to actually help us grow the business and help us be in a situation where we don't make the mistakes and we're aware of things that we could be potential issues before they even happen to us. So we try to let the world know about those things. And that's so, so fitting. I mean, mistakes, I think all of us have made mistakes and that's what we help our clients do is not to make those mistakes. Absolutely. And to, so that they don't have to spend all that money in making those mistakes that we've made. And, um, and so where do you see the future of, of what you're doing and I guess this, the future of small business? Where do you see that going? I think the small business is the backbone of the world economy. Because as small businesses grow, the economy grows. As small businesses grow, more jobs get created. Um, I, I contribute to Kiva, which is the micro lending association that does great things for small business owners around the world. And, and I get all these fun things from them about you know, how we've helped a person just buy some groceries or buy some products or buy raw materials to make whatever. So Kiva's doing a great job worldwide with respect to helping micro entrepreneurs in smaller company, in countries like in Australia or the US or maybe London or the UK uh, Kiva is not as well known because it's not needed for all intents and purposes. It, it may be, but it's not from a standpoint of actually um, a whole lot of emphasis in those areas. But as the world economy gets built up, I mean, everything changes. People change. They have the, they have more freedom. They have the ability to do the things that they want to do rather than the things that they have to do. I mean, think about it from a, a third world country, you know, who still has a problem getting water. Once that is solved, 
then they can do other things and be generate revenue and be more productive from a you know from a business side of things. So I see what we do actually impacting countries and impacting people all over the world. You know, we're starting right now pretty much in the English speaking world, but it will change dramatically as the internet grows throughout the world. And it is a ripple effect, isn't it? It really is a ripple effect mm -hmm. with what you start. You just don't know where it's impacting and what effect it has on people that have never met you or that it's just you yeah. help somebody in some way. And um, and that's so powerful. And I guess that's that's the beauty with video that I see is that you can educate people and education is what's going to change the world and education is, um, is, is so readily available from so many mentors and people today that it's just so powerful and, um, and you know, it's, it's helping so many other places and organisations. Yep, and, so that, with, um, and that's yeah. the key. That absolutely is the key. Since, mm. you know, one person sees something, then sees something else, then sees something else, and it just, as you said, it's the ripple effect, which is cool. Yeah. It's fun. If you could give somebody three tips right now that's cutting edge, that's going to help them grow their business, you know, what would that be? Number one, marketing is absolutely key. You've got to, you've got to let the world know that you are in business and, and find the right target audience because that becomes critical. Number two, never be the low price company because you've got to provide value as small business owners. We can't compete with the, the big boys, so to speak. And number three, keep at it because you are going to have tough days. And I can't tell you how many times that, that I've walked home and been, eh, this has been a terrible day and you know, da 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 da, -da and you're down and it's like you just pick yourself off, dust yourself off and keep going because it's worth it. Is there times that you felt like giving up with the channel? Or did you feel like, oh my God, this just isn't happening fast enough. I need to do this. I need to make this and all of, all of that stuff. I have a friend of mine who calls me the Energizer Bunny <laughs> and the ability to reinvent myself. <laughs> Wow. There have been so many times we've almost gone out of business over the past 30 plus years and you just do it. You just yeah. absolutely keep going because it's That's worth really it. good advice. Mm -hmm. Imagine all the people that would be missing out if you weren't doing this. So, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom today. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you and share your wisdom and just amazing to be able to speak to you from over there with your experience. So. Is there anything else that you'd like to add to, um, to finish off? Rachel, I'd really, first of all, like to thank you for, for sharing this because the more people who share this, the more people who find out about it. And for those of you who are, are just starting into video, just do it. I mean, you're gonna be terrible in the beginning. I was terrible in the beginning. But you get better yeah. and better and better and better <laughs> at it. So just keep at it. You will get your breaks and you'll get the opportunity to do some really cool things and, and educate people and, and do some really great things for humanity. So thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. And how can they find you if they want to subscribe to your channel? Just go to www.profitabilityrevolution.com. Oh, well, thank you again, and, um, and I can't wait to share this with the world, and I'm sure you're going to help some people with your tips and your passion and, and what you're doing. So thank you. Thanks, Rachel. You have a great day. Yeah, have a great night. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.